Hey everybody, Jeff Teague. I'm in Raleigh, North Carolina. Today we're talking 2023 Sequoia, specifically the Limited. I want to do a deep dive on this one because it's one of the trim levels I've been most interested in seeing firsthand, but I haven't seen up close and personal yet. I've got video and we're going to go point by point by point so you can determine whether this is a good trim for you. Of course, the five Sequoia trim levels that we're going to have this year for the 2023 Sequoia, we've got SR5, then we've got Limited, which we're going to be seeing, then Platinum, then TRD Pro, and then Capstone. Of course, Capstone, we all saw that one, and it's absolutely gorgeous. We saw it in that supersonic red color. It's luxury personified. It's going to be the highest on the totem pole of pricing. It's got those big, giant 22-inch wheels. It's got chrome everywhere. And then inside, of course, it has that what Toyota calls semi-aniline black and white leather interior. It's really sharp. And of course, TRD Pro, that one here is something that I'm going to be very interested in seeing and driving. Can't wait to do that. It's going to have off-roading capabilities like Sequoia just hasn't seen before. It's got crawl control, multi-terrain select, locking rear differential, and then it just looks tough and it looks rugged with that heritage style grille. So let's start. Again, this is real informal here. Let's just see what we know. Here's the limited. Okay, we're going to stop that. And then now look here, this is going to have 20 inch alloy wheels. They're going to be a two tone. That's standard. You can also upgrade if you want to, to a TRD off-road package. Now look along here. It's got a silver bumper accent and then the grill. That's probably one of the first things we're going to see. The capstone has its own unique grill. TRD Pro certainly does. Well, this one does also. It's got horizontal slats and then we can see the Toyota symbol in Chrome but it's highlighted in chrome accent as well. It looks like it's got LED, probably high intensity headlights is my guess. It'll have the LED accent lights. We've seen this on Tundra and above that now on the side of the hood, we're gonna see iForce Max. You'll be seeing that a little bit closer. Let's keep going. This is in blueprint color. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna stop here. Now look here, underneath the Toyota symbol, you're gonna see the start of the panoramic view monitor. There'll be a camera underneath that and we'll see several different cameras around the vehicle. There'll be some underneath the side mirrors, some on the back of the vehicle, and you're gonna see more camera angles than you ever have seen in a Sequoia before. In front of the vehicle, you'll see the bird's eye overhead. You'll get to see along the sides. You'll get to see a side of the trailer and also a trailering one as well. So let's keep going here. How about that blueprint color, right? This is going to have Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 on it, similar to the Tundra. We're just taking a look here. What do you think of that front end, the grill? Look at these wheels here. Right here, these are going to be 265-60R20. And then if you upgrade to the TRD off-road package, it's going to give you 18-inch alloy wheels. We're working for more performance here. So we're going to keep going here. Dark gray and silver metallic with a little bit of lines machine finished in, I bet. See, limited is along the side profile. It's got the turn signal indicator in those side mirror caps. It looks like along the back tail, we're going to be seeing probably in dark gloss black, that little wedge cut out there, triangle shape. You'll see silver roof rails. What else can we see? This one has running boards. I'm sure those are added as an option. Fuel tanks on the driver's side. Hmm. MPG. Interesting question. Let's keep going. All right. Here we're going to stop again. Now take a look at this back end. People have compared that, including me, to what we see on the Sienna. Me, I like the simple bold block lettering here, S-E-Q-U-O-I-A, one of the only words in the English language that has all five vowels in it. Can you imagine that? Seven letters, five vowels, what? LED taillights and stoplights here. Then we see silver accents. It'll have, if you look underneath that silver piece, the silver accent, look there, it's a little floodlight that you've got. That light is gonna be for trailering if you're hooking something up at nighttime, we're gonna be having that on the Limited. You'll also see at the back, notice the little pulses there, the little blocks. Those are gonna be for parking sonar. You'll have that in the front and in the back. It also has a hands-free power lift gate. So kick, kickball style, got your hands full, go ahead and get on in. 
Let's keep going. What are your impressions here? I noticed that the visibility is very good for a large SUV. Do we want to talk about performance now? iForce Max, that's another name for Sequoia Hybrid, just like Tundra iForce Max is Tundra Hybrid, but it's cool, it's beefy, it's tough, right? iForce Max, that's gonna be a twin turbo 3.5 liter V6 engine combined with a single electric motor. I would assume it's gonna be in a parallel hybrid system, meaning that the engine is here, the electric motor's here, and then we've got our 10 speed automatic transmission, just like we've got on the Tundra, it'll have a sealed nickel metal hydride battery near the back. It'll be under the second row, I would assume. This one gives you 437 horsepower, 583 pound feet of torque. It'll have a multi-link rear suspension on the back too. Should help with ride comfort, stability, one of the other things that we need to talk about too is the frame of the vehicle. This is a modern body on frame design, the chassis with a fully box frame, similar to what you see in the new Tundra, in the Global Land Cruiser that we've seen, and then also Lexus LX. It has great handling, really good comfort, and versatility and capability. Now look at this. Is this the Sequoia that you remember from previous generation? I don't think so. One of the things that I assume that the Sequoia is going to have, I'm almost positive, it's going to have the ability to pop the top glass there. And you'll see it has a wiper there as well. So you should be able to pop that. The only thing that you're not going to be able to see is the automatic rear window like we see in 4Runner. And we really wanted it in Sequoia, but we're not going to get it. So pop the glass. Next best thing, maybe. All right, interior. Whoa, baby. Now, if you're familiar with Tundra, you probably recognize a lot of these things. I see on the Limited, it's gonna have standard 14 inch multimedia touchscreen. The new Toyota Audio multimedia system has five times the processing speed. It's more conversational. You wake it up, not by pushing the on the steering wheel, the voice command button, you can do that, but just say, hey Toyota, hi Toyota, hello Toyota, okay Toyota, one of those things, and then give it a command and you can be conversational about it and see if it can help you out. You'll be getting wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. You can see below that we've got digital temperature controls. It'll have heated and cooled seats with memory function on those seats. Then we're gonna have the Qi wireless charging down below. Now, notice the shifter. When we see different viewpoints of this, see the shifter just above that, we're gonna have a series of buttons. You'll see the hazard light, one, two, three from the left, left over from the hazard. That's a trailering button. It helps you with the, um, the trailer package for backing up, the backup guide, and also the straight path assist. It can help you when you're trailering, backing your car and your trailer, your truck, into SUV, into a straight spot, maybe a boat launch. You'll see the dial that turns different driving modes, tow haul mode as well. On the left behind the steering wheel, the multi-information display is 12.3 inches. Now you can see the start of tow haul mode right there. It'll also say on the left, it'll say drive modes. And then to the left of that dial, you'll see the four wheel drive lever that we go between two wheel drive, four high and four low. This is gonna have heated and cooled seats. Remember, so it'll be perforated. We see grab handles, panoramic roof. It does not have a power steering wheel, it doesn't look like, but it does have a leather wrap steering wheel. And then we can see buttons over on the left, ones for the smart backup stop ability, I see the fuel door, I see automatic high beams, the dome lights, the brightness of the dash, and the trip. All right, so here, do you wanna stop this? With this one here, you can see it's got the average MPG distance, and then you've got your instantaneous MPG, so it shows you what you can do. I hope we could go up to 60 MPG. You'll be going downhill without your foot on the accelerator to do that, and you can notice the RPMs, then you can see how much fuel you have, and what gear, also ready. That means if you, since it's a hybrid, if you push the start button with your foot on the brake, it'll say ready. That means it's ready to roll even if you don't hear the engine kick on yet. This has a standard bench seat across, so you'll fit three. Notice how it has latches for child safety seats, nice big chunky headrests, so I imagine you could kind of lean back. I believe that they tilt back a little bit. Then you'll have an armrest with cup holders as well. Let's see what else we can find out. This is third row, of course. 
This has the power folding third seat, so they fold up and down from two different spots, from the back of the vehicle, or you can do it from around the second row. You can see on the left-hand side, there's the power folding button as well. It'll have room for three different seats across, or three seat belts. Now this has the adjustable shelving system. And what's interesting about this one here is that you'll be able to, with this adjustable cargo shelf system, you can move it to different levels. You can remove it, so that way you can stack and store different things. Toyota engineers, I think, recognize that there's a lack of space behind the third row for the size vehicle that it is in the past. So what they're gonna do is they're going to allow you to have as much capability in the cargo area as possible. Now this third row, this is cool because it actually has sliding. It can slide forward six inches, backward six inches to give people more or less leg room. I think that's a huge benefit there. Let's keep going. Look at those LED lights, the accent lights. That's hot. Ooh, limited on the side. It's just a beautiful truck. I feel like Limited would be a level that I would choose for me and my family personally. Let's get started with our second clip here. This is going to be pulling an Airstream, so we'll get to see it on the road and also static pictures as well. So this is the Limited, same one we saw before, iForce Max, of course. This now has 9,000 pound maximum towing capacity. I don't know what trim level has the max of 9,000 and if it gets staggered down, but this is a beautiful thing. Now remember, the Land Cruiser, before it was discontinued in the U.S., 8,100 pound towing capacity. Well, now 9,000. So for a lot of people, if you get something with off-roading capabilities, then maybe you don't need a Land Cruiser anymore. This is going to be certainly luxury. Of course, people still want Land Cruiser, not saying that. But with the capability of towing, this also has, on the Limited, you can get the what's called the Tow Tech Package or Tow Technology Package. Gives you the trailer backup guide and the straight path assist. You can do that. Also has the tow haul modes. So where are you going to take your Sequoia? Remember, this has 437 horsepower, 583 pound-feet of torque. It has incredible low-end torque. I've driven these. I've driven the Platinum. I've driven the Capstone. And I've also driven the 1794 and the TRD Pro. Low-end, it doesn't matter if you're in the woods, going on the highway or whatever, it gets you going so fast. I found that my zero to 60 without pulling something was around six and a half seconds right in that range. It's so quick versus the Tundra that, remember, that we remember, the Sequoia that we remember. So it's really impressive stuff that we're seeing here. All right, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about Sequoia. Which trim level would be best for you based on what you know right now? SR5, Limited, Platinum, TRD Pro, Capstone. Of course, Capstone is going to be the luxury one there. You'll recognize it from the black and white seats, like a black and white cookie. Baba Booey, don't eat it. Anyway, what trim level is best for you? And what questions do you have about 2023 Sequoia? We are going to be getting a lot more information coming up in the next few weeks, months, and I'm here to report it. Thanks guys so much. Please hit subscribe to Toyota Jeff. You'll see me on Instagram at Toyota Jeff Reviews, also TikTok at Toyota Jeff Reviews. And if you have any questions, you can leave a comment at toyotajeff.com. My sister channel is Auto Jeff Reviews. We look at all brands, have a lot of fun there. That's also autojeff.com and then TikTok and Instagram at Auto Jeff Reviews. Thanks guys so much. Leave your comments. See you later.